The LP's initiative, in collaboration with Bukateria, has donated books to the students of Lagos State Model Nursery and Primary School in Lagos. This initiative, titled Adventures in Imagination, is a reading quest for kids that aims to encourage a reading culture and enhance their spelling and vocabulary skills. Our correspondent Paul George was there and brought back this report. You're young, your minds are fertile. You should dream dreams. You should have your imagination. If you don't dream dreams and have your imagination, how are you going to be creative? The pupils and teachers of Lagos State Model Nursery and Primary School are thrilled to engage with Barrister Olufunke Rekia Hassan, the convener and executive vice chairman of Onigbungbu Local Council Development Area. This interaction promises to be a valuable opportunity for them to share their love of reading. In addition to their reading activities, the students have also participated in spelling bee and current affairs competitions, vying for rewards. Honorable Mrs. Olufunke Hassan, the convener, explains that her goal is to encourage Nigerian students to develop a habit of reading. She believes this will broaden their horizons and foster a positive mindset. We had an event with kids um, on May Day, and we realized that when we started playing Charlie Poppy, they were rapping and rhyming, they didn't miss a beat. But when we started asking them questions of basic knowledge, they were lost. So at that moment, we realized that these kids, they need some extra guidance. Aside from what they are reading in the traditional classrooms and the traditional curriculum, they need to be nurtured and um, guided into the world of reading for pleasure. Honorable Hassan stated that the initiative was funded from our own personal fund. Also, Omoni Animashan, the collaborator, corroborated Honorable Hassan's comments on the importance of promoting a culture of reading and noted that the initiative represented a positive step in that direction. The world of reading for pleasure opens their imaginations. I mean, without imagination, you cannot dream. Without dreaming, you cannot be, have any vision. And if we have a future with visionless people, our nation has nowhere to go. Oh, oh, this is totally not funded by the government. This is a private personal endeavor. We have volunteers, we have supporters. We need our children, teenagers, to be able to ask why. So we have issues like drug abuse and really anybody that um, is critically thinking would begin to ask what are the advantages what are the disadvantages so generally when we get people to read we actually release them from that prison of um, being out of lack of um, having a lack of knowledge having a lack of understanding book enthusiast and a student passionately shared how reading inspires them encouraging young people to discover the same joy and enrichment in books. Events like this, um, mentoring young persons to take up the habit of reading. And for some of us that are a little bit, uh, let me say, older, perhaps we should also encourage the, uh, what do you call it now, the paper book reading, because there are a lot of distractions that come when you're using the smartphones. There are many places that you may not be able to travel to physically, but when you read books, you can travel, you can have an idea of what is happening in other parts of the world, and it also broadens your mind to different perspectives, and um, you'll be able to see things from other people's point of view. So you will not have a one-sided view on life and um, other issues. I read because it gives me more knowledge about things. And the book I recently read is William Shakespeare, A Midsummer Night's Dream. And I also shared that book with some of my friends in my house. I used to tell the children that they are pleased to have it all. Can you see the, 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 the reward of reading now? Please continue. Do both. Always read your book. I really appreciate you. At the end, the school received gifts and the participating students were awarded cash prizes 
for their competition entries. Paul George, Plus TV News. We'll now take a short break and be back for the rest of the news. Stay with us. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.